getting started with digital mapping um, can be a bit daunting for some people. So what I always think the best way to start with digital mapping and my own mapping journey is to volunteer, right? So there are a few different ways you can volunteer and do GIS work, um, but one of the best ways to do that is through the humanitarian Open Street Maps team. Um, they're a team of international um, students, professors, um, people who live in communities that need a map done for some reason, whether that be disaster relief management, um, uh, reducing risks to their health, um, and all, a lot of them are oriented around the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, right? So to make sure access for different people through different pathways is clear, right? And you do that through, as you can see in the image, sometimes tracing out buildings from satellite imagery onto a new layer that's then placed onto open street maps. So that can be drawing out buildings, that can be drawing out roadways, um, where schools are located, all those things are layered on top of open street maps and kept for humanitarian purposes. And a lot of it can be kind of daunting for a lot of people for a lot of reasons, um, because sometimes it can be hard to get started, but there are a lot of resources on the humanitarian open street maps team page that'll help you get started instructional videos on using different tools, different softwares to get better at editing. There's also a lot of mapathons that occur, um, whether that be online or physical, you go to a location and a bunch of people get together and map a specific area, right, for maps that are missing from different parts of the world. So this can be a way that you can really get involved in GIS work and be supported by a community of people that are making a difference.